Animal Olympics videos are everywhere now. You can see on TikTok, so many videos with so many views. And then for this video, you can see it got more than 72.8 million views. Let's take a look at this. And it was just posted on the 20th of June. So it got more than 72.8 million views in just two weeks. And in today's video, I'm going to share with you all how we can create this kind of animal Olympics videos in mass, all on autopilot. And before that, let me show you our result first. And this one. This one. Nice. And you can make those Animal Olympics videos easily in mass with this AI video system. And I'm going to teach you how to build this AI video system note by note, step by step. And the best part, no code at all. All you need to know is just drag and drop like this. If you're new here, my name is Andy. I share easy to sell AI automation system like this every single week to help you kickstart your AI agency and quit your 9 to 5 job to pursue your dream. In our community, we offer a comprehensive 6 month AI agency course designed to guide you from day zero, step by step, day by day, week by week, so you'll learn exactly how to build, launch and grow your AI automation business from the ground up with clear actions, proven strategies and real world examples. And the NAN template in this video, you can find it in our community as well. You can just download this and import to NAN easily like this. If you want to get technical support, we've got you here in our community. We'll make sure that all your technical problems are solved so that you can implement our templates easily. And if you want one-on-one -on -one help getting this running as well, We've got you covered as well. All right, so let's dive into the notes in this AI video system, and I'll show you exactly how each part works so that you can customize it for your own workflow. Let's get started. All right, before I start, let's do a quick demo first. So let's go to our Google Sheets. So this is the animal column, status, and output. So I'll put a dog as the animal, and the status I'll choose pending. Okay, then we can click Execute Workflow. So first of all, it will generate an image with the OpenAI's model, which is the GPT image one model. Then it's generating the video with high low AI video model. And then we are going to generate the sound effect. All right, so the video is completed after adding the sound effect. So let's go to the Google Sheets and click this output link, download this, and let's play this. Nice. Okay, so let's get started. I will talk about how we can build this note by note, and that's very easy. Everything can be automated, and you can generate hundreds or even thousands of Olympic animal videos like this. So let's get started. All right, so for the workflow, we can actually divide it in several parts. First of all, we're going to prepare the prompts, and then we're going to generate the image, and then we're going to turn an image into a video using the high law video model and we're going to generate the sound effect last but not least we're going to save the video back in our Google Sheets so for first note schedule trigger again it is a very useful note for you to autopilot everything is how you can actually set different trigger interval like days second minute for example I can generate one video per let's say 30 minutes so you can generate uh, many videos per day and for this note we can actually search for Google Sheets is for reading this Google Sheet. So for this Google Sheet column, you can actually put animal status output, just that simple. And then you can just choose completed or pending for this drop down options. Then we can go back to and again, again connect with your Google a Sheet account. You can actually create new credential, just sign in with Google. That's it. Then for resource, we can choose sheet within document operation, we choose get roles and choose 
the relevant document that you just created here. So you can choose from the drop down menu here. When you click this, you'll be directed to this school sheet. And for the sheets, this part, you can actually choose the relevant one that you want. Okay. For a filter, we're going to process only the pending row. For example, if we choose this pending, it will only show this row. And for option, we can actually add an option return only for a matching row. That means that we are going to process one row each time for one schedule trigger. Okay. Then for this note, this is where we are going to add the prompt here. You can actually find it here. Add it filled set. Okay. And we'll choose meta mapping. For the field to set, we'll choose prompt underscore image is for generating the image. So it is a very easy prompt. Actually, you can generate this with ChatGPT as well. So I'm trying to describe the scene of the animal trying to uh, do the Olympic diving in the London 2012 Olympics. Okay, so you can see a wide horizontal view of an Olympic indoor diving arena seen from the side stand as if from the perspective of a spectator. The venue is vibrant and packed with a large crowd with pink and orange banners that read London 2012 and feature large Olympic ring logos prominently displayed around the arena. Okay, and you can see this prompt saying colorful national flags from various countries hang high above the audience on the diving springboard far across the pool a large realistic and this part actually this is the animal type that we input in the google sheet so we can actually drag and drop like this and then this animal stands at the very edge in a poised starting position upright both feet planted firmly on the board knees slightly bent arms at its side ready to begin its dive the animal appears small in the frame emphasizing the grand scale of the arena below the clear pool reflects the bright natural lighting of the venue judges cameras and spectators are focused intently on the springboard the composition is cinematic with sharp details capturing the atmosphere the polished diving platforms the shimmering water, the texture of the banners, and the anticipation of the crowd. Okay, you can actually generate this prompt with ChatGPT or Claude or DeepSeek or other LLM models as well. So this is style, photorealistic, cinematic composition, horizontal frame, natural lighting, high detail in architecture and texture, wide short. For this, you can also change it to vertical frame as well. Again, for beginners here, for NNN, you can see on the left hand side is the input, on the right hand side is the output. Because for this note, we're trying to set a field called prompt underscore image, and you see this is the field name, and this is the value. Okay, and we are going to use that note for this part to generate an image here. So this one is a OpenAI note, okay, and we're going to use this to generate the image. For the API, you can just create a new credential, paste the API key here. It's very easy. Don't have to change anything. And for resource, we choose image. Operation, we choose generate an image. Model, we choose GBT image one. For the prompt, we can just drag and drop here. All right. So that's why we set the previous edit field node. Options, we will choose resolution, this one, because we are trying to generate short video. So this will be the resolution we choose after we execute step we can view this this is actually the image okay and we're going to store the image to somewhere before we generate that video with that image so we are going to upload this to superbase because for superbase it doesn't really have a, an option for us to upload to a bucket so we have to use another node called http request to make an API call for that. Okay, so let me unpin it first. Okay, so how are you going to do this? First of all, we choose post method. I'm going to talk about this URL structure. But first of all, let's go to your superbase, create your new project, then you can actually click project settings and data API and copy this part. This part 
is where you need to change. Okay, this is mine. This is my project URL. So you must change it to yours. Okay, then another part we have to change is this the bucket name. Okay, we'll go back here and we'll go to storage new bucket. You can name whatever you want, but what you must do is to enable this public bucket name. So you can see this is my public bucket name and again, hyphen Olympics. So this is where I put him. All right. So other parts, you can keep it the same for this is just how we try to name that particular unique image with the time now in this time format. Okay. For authentication, we'll choose predefined credential type. We choose Subbase API. And how we can set this up, we can actually input the host and service row secret. So for the host, it's very easy. You can just copy this and paste it here. For the service row secret, you can go to the API keys. And then this part, you can refill this and try to copy that and paste it here. Okay, so that's it. It's very easy, it's set. And we're going to enable the send body and the body content type this time we're choosing an end binary file because on the left hand side you can see this image is a binary file and the input data field name is data so we input the data okay and after that you can see the key here and id and next we're going to call an api to generate the video for us and we're going to use fail ai for that for fail ai you can think of it like an aggregator for different image generation or video generation platforms and this time we're going to use a model called Hai Luo okay this one so we can go to Fail AI we can actually search for Hai Luo Hai Luo O2 standard image to video this one this is the one that we're going to use and we can go back here when we click expression and launch this so this is the standard part when we try to call this API with the post method okay and this part starting from this it is actually this you can actually copy this or we can go to API and then we will choose HTTP curl let me scroll down this is actually the URL okay that's very easy and what we are going to do is to set up the authentication this time we choose generic credential type we put header auth here and it's a little bit tricky here when we add this credential for the name we can go back here you'll see it's authorization but for the api key it's not just copy and paste your api key you need to add key space and then your api key so for the api key you can actually go to your profile account api keys and then you can click a key after you name a key then you can copy the key part okay but again you need to add key space just mentioned key space and then add your api key and paste it here that's it and you will enable the send body part and then we will choose json as the body column type we will choose using fills below for name we will choose prompt you can see different parameters here when we try to scroll down you can see the section called schema there are several parameters like prompt image url duration prompt optimizer so we're choosing prompt this one and when we click expression and launch this you can see televised footage of a this and all okay try and drop this well this part okay so let me remove this do an acrobatic dive into a swim pool at the olympics from a 10 meter high diving board with flips and spins okay and then you can see this is another parameter which is here image url because we are going to turn this image into a video so we must need to provide an image again please change it to your own project url for your subbase okay and then for the rest you can keep it the same for this part it is actually calling the key of your image that you just uploaded to superbase so you can just drag and drop this part for duration we just put six for example like six seconds and problem optimizer we will just enable this so we can output it as true okay default value is true okay then after that we will wait for usually five to ten minutes it works so you can see six 
100 seconds. You can add this note by adding wait note here. Okay, so after we ask fairly high to use the Hai Luo O2 model to generate a video for us, we need to get it back, right? So we need to call the API again and try to get it back. And this time we are going to add another HTTP request note. But this time we're going to use the get method. And for the URL part, it's very easy. Just drag and drop the response URL. Authentication part, just use the failed account that you just set up. It's very easy for this note. So by now, you will have a video with no sound. Okay, let me try to show you. So this is the one. Let me copy and paste it here. Okay, so there's no sound here. This is a video. And now we need to add sound. And this time, we're going to use fairly again. But this time, we are going to use another model. So we are going to add another HTTP request note. We're going to use the post method. We're going to use the think sound model. So we can search for think sound. Think sound. This one. Generate video with think sound. Like generate realistic audio for a video with an optional text prompt. Okay. So you don't need to add a prompt here, but if you add it, it will be more accurate. When we go to API, okay, we choose HTTP curl. You will see this the URL, copy and paste it here. Okay. Same credential for your fail account. So that's why we usually use fail AI for image generation and video generation because they have so many models to use. Just only set once and then you can use different models. And we'll enable this send body choose json as the body current type specify body using fills below for name okay so for the parameters we can go back here we can go to schema you'll see video url prompt seed okay so of course we need to give them the video url we're going to drag and drop this part then for the prompt we're just using the same prompt that we generated the video for high roll this is the same one then this is how it works for this note. For the sound effect, it will be a little bit faster. So we just put around 60 to 120 seconds, around one to two minutes. So again, after we ask the thing sound to generate the feeder for us, we are going to get the audio and the feeder as well. So we're going to use the get method. Again, just try and drop this response URL, same authentication method. So that's it. This is the video we have, okay. So let's try to copy in this paste it, and you can download this directly. Last but not least, we're trying to update our Google Sheet, right? So we need to enter another Google Sheet note. Connect with your Google Sheet account, choose sheet within document, update row this time. Same document, same sheet. But this time we choose map each column manually column to match on which is row number for row number we can go back to the this note try and drop this part you'll see this showing us three say this we'll update that as completed because we want to prevent this system to crawl the same row that was executed okay because here we are trying to execute those row with the pending value for the status column okay and last but not least we are going to upload the video URL here. Okay. All right. That's it for today. And thank you for watching this video. And let me know what you think about this. Hope you guys enjoy this. And if you have any technical questions, feel free to ask in our community. And comment below and let me know what you think about this video. I'll see you in the next one.